I'm actually going to be doing a workout today, so I thought I would bring you guys along with me for that. You know how I've been talking a bunch about captions lately and it's because I've been trying to find the ideal way of doing them. Hey everyone, welcome to another vlog. Today is Saturday, and so for today, I got my short done this morning as I usually do. So tonight, I'm actually going out for supper with some friends and family. I wasn't sure if I was able to go because when I was asked yesterday if I was coming, yesterday I really wasn't feeling well. Today I've been a little bit feeling down as well, but for different reasons. And so I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to go, but I've decided that I'm going to go. I'm feeling well enough and I'm feeling okay. I think tonight I'll probably work on some editing for my actual vlog so that all I have to do tomorrow is export and upload it. Going forward, I think with the captioning, I'm going to use YouTube's automatic captioning feature, but it took about six or seven hours after I uploaded the video to get an actual file for that. So I'm hoping to get the video uploaded quite early tomorrow so that I might have a chance by the end of the day to start working on those captions. It's not a huge deal because as long as I get the YouTube captions edited, they'll be good to go. But until then, I have to make sure that the captions are ready for YouTube because I have Monday to work on the captions for Facebook and Instagram. So that's a plan moving forward. I'm hoping I'm able to stick with it. I've been just feeling so down today that I haven't been in the creative mood. I've been feeling like emotionally down. I've been struggling with a few different things. These negative feelings tend to come up with meditation occasionally and what'll happen as long as I don't suppress these feelings is they'll come and they'll be for a little bit and then they'll go just as fast and quickly as they came. It's a normal part of the process. That's the update for now and I'll see you in the next segment. It is actually Tuesday now. I haven't vlogged for the last couple of days just because Sunday I was taking a break and then yesterday I wanted to come outside but it was so smoky and hot that it actually wasn't safe really for me to come outside. It's a lot better today. I could still taste the smoke a little bit though when I walked out of the house. I'm also extremely sensitive to it though doesn't take much smoke before it keeps me indoors but yesterday it was really really bad so I just thought I would come out here and just do a really quick update a little bit of an update since I said that I wasn't feeling well last week although you would have seen that I was finally feeling well enough to get out on Saturday today I am feeling quite good I have the entire day pretty much off all I have to do later is film short videos for this week and that's all I'll have to do for today. Other than that I'm just trying to give myself as much rest as possible because I actually haven't been sleeping that great like I've been waking up in the middle of the night. I'm not sure what's up with that but you know sometimes it happens. You know how I've been talking a bunch about captions lately and it's because I've been trying to find the ideal way of doing them. I believe I've got it now. So YouTube actually allows for automatic captions and 
because of the way the system is, I actually like using YouTube to edit the captions because it's basically a caption editor what they have on there right in YouTube for free. So you can actually watch the video as you look at your captions to correct any mistakes. And usually I get that, I'll upload the video Sunday morning and on Sunday evening, I had that file available. I was able to finish the YouTube captions there. And actually, I didn't know this until I actually did it, but when I edited those captions, it made a new file for the video. So it has the automatic captions and then it has the edited ones. So if you're looking for the captions that are actually correct, it when you click on closed captioning, make sure you just click the English ones. So there'll be English automatic, and then there'll be English. And the ones that have been edited just say English on them. And then with Facebook and Instagram, I make them using the same thing. I just change the ending. So I actually do a vertical video and then tell Facebook, okay, make this a one-to-one -one ratio with the smart cropping. And it seemed to do okay last week. It was bothering me a bit because it wasn't perfect, but I'm hoping that this time I kind of got it a little bit more even with the way it looks in the background. I won't know though until actually today, but I think it just looks better. And then I let it do an automatic caption on there, but I turned off the automatic captions. Instagram hasn't changed. <laughs> I always have to do those manually because there isn't a feature on there. That's the update on how I'm doing the captions. And I believe that's all I'm going to talk about for right now. I will see you guys in the next segment. Hey everyone, happy Wednesday. So I'm actually going to be doing a workout today. So I thought I would bring you guys along with me for that. I think I'm going to do a 40 minute Zumba workout today. As far as which one, I don't know yet. I'll figure that out when I actually get it on. So let's just get right into it. Thursday. So I am once again in the middle of doing my editing for getting this short out for this morning, or I guess this afternoon technically. It goes out at noon, my time. So I thought I would come on here and just talk about how I'm feeling and how I'm doing today. So I am feeling a little bit sore, but it's a little bit of an ache in my arms. And then last week, actually, I injured my leg a little bit while on my bike. I was actually walking my bike and it hit the back of my leg really hard. And I'll put up a picture right here of what the back of my leg looks like, but it's been pretty sore considering it's been over a week since that happened. So I'm hoping it continues to get better but there's one spot that it definitely is still a little bit sore and it looks like it's scabbed over a little bit it did hurt quite a bit but it wasn't enough for me to not continue to go for my bike ride it actually happened i was about halfway to the trails when it happened because i was walking my bike across an intersection when it happened i am doing a little bit better with allergies this week so i'm happy about that my nose isn't quite as congested as what it was i'll see you in the next segment hey everyone so happy friday i thought i would just come and end the vlog quickly so i'm feeling pretty bad today it's a combination of the weather and the fact that I got my period last night actually earlier than what it normally is. I wasn't expecting it so soon. I had some warning signs it was coming, but it was a good thing I pay attention because otherwise that one would have took it, taken me by surprise last night. But anyway, so I got the vlog edited up to the end of this particular segment today, this morning. 
and so I'm likely going to take the rest of the day off. I am feeling extremely dizzy today, like to the point where I need to be lying down or I get like a really weird feeling in my head. I haven't had dizziness like this in a while. I'm not sure if it's I'm not drinking enough. I'm not sure if it's migraine symptoms from everything that's going on right now. I just don't know. I've been feeling pretty good up till today actually. So that's a win being that I was actually in my premenstrual window for a majority of the week. I really wasn't feeling much of anything. And up until getting cramps that I had all of my time I've had my period and my have dealt with that in my life that I didn't really have any symptoms that my periods were coming so that's a win for my migraine prevention like I said I'm not sure what's exactly going on right now but sometimes I think there's just so many things that pile up together that it just makes it so that I get symptoms that's it for this week. I'll see you guys next week. Enjoying my content? Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and then make sure you click the notification bell so you never miss any of my upcoming future videos. Bye for now and thanks for watching.